Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, Maxim UK here. This is the catch carp and course. Um, so I said we'd do something different today. Let's do something different today. Have we got any money? Three hundred ninety-seven. Is that it? That's poor, man. That's really bad. All right, what we're gonna do? Uh, let's go somewhere else. Let's go to. Let's go to Pearl Lake and let's do some predator fishing. The longest length of all qualifying species of predatory fish caught within the time limit. Let's see if that's actually true. Okay, so we're going to go with, I think, Simu K1. Oh, there's a predator default ta tackle box. All right, let's take that. Because I haven't really focused on this at all. Um, you know, I caught that fantastic pike. It was really good. But, uh, okay, all right. Where should we go? Where should we go? Let's go here. I'm ready. So this looks like a nice peg. Claim the peg. And uh, a start course. at four feet why is it so deep I nearly hit me in the face <laughs> okay let me just check this out I don't even know what's in this box let's have a look here so we've got <clears throat> no weight and a striker pro baby we got um, a bait shack drop shot a bait shack grub. Okay. I'll be honest, I don't know what any of those are. Let's let's start with the spod. Alright. Let's do the spod. Let's go. I'll stick the spot in the middle there. Actually, how far can we cast? Let's say we're gonna cast That's going a little fast. I'm going to try and cast 30, 30 yards. And we're going to leave that as our... Uh, look at that. We cleared the entire thing. That was 141 yards. That's crazy. All right. We want it to be 30 yards. So let's bring this all the way in. Thirty yards. Let's put a line clip on that. We we'll give it a couple of seconds until we see some sort of movement out there. God, look at that, Bex Nielsen. Nine point zero nine inches already. Okay, that's fairly close. Let's pick up line one. Seeing some movement out there, which is what we want. God, speed. Right in between them. I'm going a bit too fast. Okay, that was nearly a fully constant reel, which is not what I was trying to do, I'll be honest. Let's try and bring this reel speed up. Trying to get it to do a... Uh... 
Yeah, kind of like a stop and go, but I'm, dude, I'm struggling to find the right system for that. Five is too fast. Four is too slow. It just sinks when I do four. There's no way of getting it up. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to look like an injured fish right, right now. Rather unsuccessfully, I've got to say. Alright, let's swap. I may even swap tackle boxes because my setup just seemed to be far, far more effective. So I think that's a, a baited, weighted line. I don't even see what we've got here. Is this just a fly fish or something? That's what I like, the twitch. I'm jiggling, I'm twitching, I'm, I'm jiggling, I'm twitching, I'm jiggling. I find it really hard. Might try using the controller over the mouse, because certainly. And that's one of the things I changed with the G Hub actually was I boosted up my DPI so that smaller movements had a bigger impact on the rod because uh, things didn't seem to be going particularly well. I feel like there needs to be some fine adjustment options in the game the PC users. Right, I'm going to try one more of these. And then I'm going to switch tackle box. Oh, hello. Two is off. Good strike. Again, I was trying to reel in and the game was telling me, no, you haven't pressed the button. But I have pressed the button, game. You're just not... Acknowledging the fact that I pressed the button. Ah, oh, this is a... This is a fish. This is a proper fish. Oh, easy, 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 easy. Ah, oh, it's not a big fish at all. Just a fish. Just a normal fish. Nothing exciting here. Well, it's our first fish, so it's kind of exciting. Come on, get in here. Don't be so awkward. Good lad. That is not a bad fish. I don't know what it is. That's a peacock bass. That's cool. Three pounds, six ounces. 20.17 inches. Have we just jumped into the lead? No, <laughs> because Terry, Tony Gibson has got one that's 36 point something inches. You son of a gun. All right, so that setup's pretty good. We like that. That's working good. All right, what's the dealio with this then? Uh, let's go to inventory. Let's learn about these a little bit. Well, that's clearly... Uh, This is meant to be a top water lure, okay? And this is meant to be... Yeah, what are we supposed to do with the grub here? 
The grub worm from Bait Shack is a cracking little drop shotting lure. Part creature bait, part grub. Its strange shape piques a predator's curiosity, often provoking strikes where other baits have failed. Okay, but how do you use it? That's kind of what I'm not sure about. Oh, hello. Who cares? Good strike again. Again, it's uh Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Again, it didn't register my attempts to reel it in, so we nearly lost it straight away. Yes, that was really crappy fishing right there, but a good result at the end. What have we got here? 20.83 inches. It's a good catch. It's not what we're after. Three pound, 15 ounces. And I think we should keep this going. This is obviously... a good spot. So whilst we're trying to figure out how to use the other two, I think that's the place to be. Just below the surface there, that's where this one needs to be. I think. This is the top based one, correct? The 4.6 feet is no good. We've got to bring it up. Really gonna have to get my G Hub up and running again because good strike on two. Reel it in then, for God's sake! Stupid ass game. Come on. There we go. Hook slipping. Don't you dare! Don't you! Don't you dare! I don't have enough mouse map for this stupid game. I'm literally moving my... I wish I had a video camera on this. I'm moving my hand like... 30, 40 centimetres each time I move. It's just crazy. It's like they never tested it on a PC or something, you know? I tell you what, this rod is doing very well for us. That's another one of the rainbow... Tr uh, not rainbow trout, rainbow... Peacock bass, that's a... 20.7 inches again, that's not good enough. It's good, but it's not right. Same spot every time. Let's try this one. I don't know. I just... I know what I'm trying to do. It's like the game... won't let me do it. This is how I caught the... Uh, the pike with this manoeuvre. But I mean, look at it. It's it's 4.2 feet. It's, it's jiggling all right, but it's on the bottom. This one's meant to be on the top. This one's meant to be close to the top of the water. That's what it says. That's what it's ideal for. At the moment, we've got it bouncing and jumping around on the bottom, which is not what it's designed to do. I don't think it's going to work like that. We were definitely jiggling then. Let's try one more time. happy 
be the jiggle. Maybe we'll swap the line. I think the other one's probably better for jiggling. I don't know. But now we're not jiggling. And the amount I'm having to move my mouse. We're moving a good 10 centimeters here just to get a jiggle on. I mean, who's got a, a flipping two meter deep desk? Not many people, I tell you. All right, that's not really going very well. Swap out. Let's keep doing this until uh, rod number two picks up another catch. There we go, stop and go. Now we're constant, which makes no sense, because we're not. At best, we're jiggling. Come on. Line number two is on the go again. Ah, I didn't get him that time. Okay. No worries. Plenty of time to fix that mistake. 14 minutes, in fact. Oh, for God's sakes. I pressed the button. Oh, that, I see. So the game really does restrict where you can cast. I see a fish there. I see a big fish there. Do you see him? Going just under where we are. That is a big, big boy. Alright, let's see if we can entice you in a tad. Uh, not like that. We won't. God's sakes. Won't let me cast close enough. But even when I cast it constantly, it's not casting. Oh, was he interested then? I don't know what that big blue fish is, but we want to catch him. Come on now. Ah, see how they just vanish like that? I find that incredibly annoying. Again, we're on the bottom. We need to be on the top. There are a lot of fish over here. Cannot cast out that way. So this is keeping it at the top. Do you, do you see what I mean? It's like... You're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. I can't seem to get the right speed to just do what I want to do. i bring this down. I may switch. I'll tell you what, 10 minutes, we're going to switch to my own personal tackle box. And we'll see if we have any better luck with that. They're so there. They're so interested. But I just cannot get it to behave the way I want it to. I 
that's better. Not right, but better. Right, 57 seconds to catch here, come on. Beastie looking fish over here. Look at that monster! Is that the monster we saw before? Oh, come on, game. Let me cast. Look at it! Like an anaconda. What the hell is that thing? Not getting any joy. Let's swap lines. Definitely getting better behaviour out of this one. Oh, it's a combined length. So we're at 61 inches right now. Again, this is down the bottom. We need this up the top. Last try. And then we're switching. It's ridiculous. The way it just moves, it's just wrong. Okay, Simu K1. Got my Strike Pro Baby Buster. That's what's going to win it for us, I'm telling you. Eight minutes to absolutely annihilate this place. See what we can do. These are just out there for the, the sake of being out there. We get lucky, great. It's a bit silty. I can't remember what's on that line to be honest. This is the one. This is what's gonna win it, boys and girls. Not if I cast like that. Come back here. So obviously, uh, I had this set up on three last time I cast. Oh my god, am I going to... There we go. Let's put it back down on three. Let's do it. Doing a constant right now. Not necessarily on purpose. Like I say, this is what this is what caught me a pike. I mean, if we get lucky, a couple of decent catches. Bit of interest over there. It's very much down on the base, though. I mean, obviously that's where pike swim. It's bigger fish. I think they're probably going to be more in the middle or on the top. It's line two. I wish there was some way of knowing which line 
fish on. It's a fish. It's definitely a fish. It's not coming in easy. This could be a good fish. The wake it's leaving is relatively big. I'm not, I'm not thinking it's a boss, but I'm thinking it's a fish. A fish worthy of my time and effort. Come on. It's going to take me five minutes to reel this in. Come on, baby. Come to Papa. Oh, it's a tiddler. It's just really fighty. Like a piranha or something. Look at that. He won't stay out of the water. You know, I thought I had him there, and then he pulled away. There we go. Good fight. Good fight. That's not a bad fish. I don't know what it is. That's a big head carp. 16 pounder. 24.56. Hello. We're on. I don't even have time to really enjoy that catch. Just gonna read all about it, learn some stuff about that type of fish. No chance. Hang on, three is my It's my spinner. How the hell did I catch a fish on the spinner when I'm not spinning it? This will be a big fish. And my flipping desk is not big enough to catch it. Come on. This is gonna be a big fish. Three minutes to catch this baby. Come on! Get over here. That's not as big as I hoped. It's a decent fish, though. Nearly lost you. Nearly lost you. Come on. Get in here. No! Lost it! I just ran out of desk space. That was the... Uh, that was the issue. My mouse was off the edge of the desk. Couldn't do anything else. Shame, isn't it? Real shame. That could have... Uh, that could have put us up into the... Into the 80s or something, which still wouldn't have been that great. You're kidding me. I've got another strike on three without actually doing anything. Come on, I've got two minutes. Again, I'm off the edge of my desk. Do you know what it feels like? Oh my god, two's on the go as well. Typical, isn't it? Oh, less than two minutes left. And I've got two lines in the water and they've both got fish on. Look at two, he's enormous. Come on. Come in, come in. Where I need a, a, like a multiplayer second fisherman to come and help me out. Wouldn't that be cool? If you could go fishing with your mates and you could both sit on the same peg and they could pick up a line for you if you're busy catching a fish and your second rod goes... Do not end this competition till I have reeled both of these in. Please, game. Especially this one. Because he's all the way out there.
Wow, line two is going mental. Come on, baby, come here. Running out of death space. Come on. Ah, see, I'm running out of desk space again. I can't reel them in because I haven't got enough desk. Eleven seconds. Just come in. Just come straight. I don't care if the hook's strained or not. You've got to be landed immediately. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Three fish. What could have been? I'm going to try a controller. No. I'm going to set up my uh, Logitech um, G Hub so that I can use my mouse properly on my desk. Because at the moment it doesn't work. I, I swear to God, if you put the mouse in the middle of your desk, push it all the way forwards, the, the rod will be maximum down. You pull it all the way back, it will be maximum up. But when you're reeling a fish in and you're pulling up, you're just constantly pulling up, up and up and up and up. Excuse me, then you're off the desk. So you lower it down to the minimum position, pull it back again. You're off the desk. You have to lift your mouse up and put it back in the middle of the desk. It doesn't work. So, I'm blaming that on that. That's what I'm doing. Still, we caught some peacock bass and a big head carp. Not bad at all. 16 pounder on the big head carp. That was pretty good. And I've got to say, the Sim UK uh, rod pack, I think, was doing a better job than the default one. So, maybe I'll come back here again and uh, try it again with my G-Hub setup, etc. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. Till next time. Goodbye. Oh, interesting. The peacock bass was my best catch. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. That's for sure.